Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I am fine. And you? Very well here. Thinking that it's not that windy today. So let's see how it goes, the weather. Okay. Teacher, yo me quería disculpar este, primeramente porque no me había conectado desde el lunes primero. Okay. Pero estuve mal de salud porque me dio esa famosa enfermedad de COVID y he estado súper, súper mal. Así que, pero he seguido las clases en línea en YouTube. Ya hice el examen también intermedio. Voy al día con la plataforma. Así que por eso hasta ahora me estoy reintegrando. Ok, perfecto. Sí, eh, sí yo sé que esas cosas de repente suceden, ¿verdad? Y me alegro que esté un poco ya sí. mejor. Ay, de que ah, que... ya. Gracias a Dios. Sí, eso sí. Pero sí, aquí estamos otra vez. Perfecto. Welcome then. Thanks. Y ahora vamos a revisar un poco más de la plataforma. Vamos a terminar el Meet Our Jamst. Y luego vamos a, a continuar con la clase. A terminar los contenidos para luego reiniciar el lunes. Hello, Omar. How are you? Hello. Uh, I'm fine. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Welcome to the okay. English class. We're going to wait a few minutes to uh, for the other classmates to come into the class. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, everybody welcome to the English class. Good evening and um, how are you today? Are you ready for rock and roll? Yeah, other people are coming. Okay, uh, so how is everything going with the platform? ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Ya todos terminamos el midterm test. alguna pregunta, duda con el midterm test. Bueno, ya lo vamos a revisar. No lo vamos a ver totalmente porque el chiste es que lo que lo hagan ustedes, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a ir viendo si hay alguna pregunta, duda, alguna situación que pudiera darse. Pero sí para ahora tendría que estar terminado al menos el midterm test. Hay muchos que ya van terminando toda la plataforma, lo cual está bien. Eh, no hay, no hay ningún problema. Ustedes pueden repasar luego la gramática, repasar ejercicios eh, mañana creo que les estaría enviando unos ejercicios para que ustedes puedan también practicar, los que quieran, ¿verdad? Acá en el, en el chat. Uh, y 
pues lo que necesitan, pues ya saben, ¿verdad? Ahora, si hay que avanzar, si no han hecho el midterm test, yo creería que eso es donde vamos ahorita. Tendríamos que seguir terminando eso. Y también, eh, pues recordándoles que ya es hora de irse inscribiendo, de mandar todos los papeles para poder inscribirse al próximo nivel, pues para que no nos agarre ahí la noche y vaya a pasar alguna situación, algún inconveniente, mi recomendación es hacerlo lo antes posible. So, we are going to continue with the class. We are going to start with, uh, actually, the platform. We are going to check some exercises here. Let's see. Okay, uh, I guess this one we checked that already. No sé si lo alcanzamos a hacer los demás que estaban pendientes. Sí. Yes, teacher. Todo yes. bien. Very good. Very good. I'm happy about that one. Entonces, si ya no hay problema, vamos a continuar y vamos a revisar un poco de la siguiente parte de la plataforma. So, this is um, the section three. So as you can see there, it says, uh, in this session, participants will listen to a conversion between neighbors asking about places in town. So we're going to check that today, places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. So those are like the, the grammar topics that we need to pay attention to. Okay, and uh, the next one is a little video. I'm your new neighbor. So that is kind of common, let's say. So do you know your neighbors by any chance? Vecinos. Yeah, but do you know your neighbors? More or less, teacher. Yeah. And the other people? Have you get to meet your, your neighbors sometime? Yes, teacher. Okay. But you're not friends, like just like, hello, goodbye. Yes. Yeah. In the past, it was like more, uh, I, I don't know, it was very common that people used to get friends with their neighbors. But now, uh, situation security and many things caused us we don't have that approachable. Okay, then we have the 3.2. Um, Carlos, could you please help me reading this objective? Okay, teacher. In this session, participants will learn about how to ask and answer question with this, 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 this is, there are, one, any, some. Okay, there is a mistake, right? There is, there are, there is, one, oh. any, and some. Yeah, it's a problem there. Okay. And, uh, well, this is just the objective, and then we have another video. There is, there are, one, any, and some. Uh, probably the one that we have in check is one. Do you remember one? When do we use one? Any idea? Because I guess there is, there are, is very... I guess you know that already, but anyways, we're going to check in the class of today. Uh, we have any that is for negative and questions, some that is for uh, affirmative, uh, and we have one, okay? When we want to be more specific. Okay, after that one, we have the first knowledge check of uh, section three. This is uh, for you to take a look at the map with the questions and choose the right place according to the directions given. Um, so everybody has done this one already? Finished yes, it? Yes. Yes, teacher. Do you have questions about this? Yes, teacher. No question. No question. No, no question, teacher. Very good. Nice. So let's move on. And then we have uh, the 3.5 objective. Uh, Marcela, could you please help me reading this one? In this in this session, participants will follow a conversation about a neighborhood, taking into account questions like how many, how much, with quantifiers. 
Very good. So in this one, uh, you will follow a conversation. This is just a conversation. Do you know what is follow, to follow? Seguir. Very good. So you will follow a conversation about a neighborhood that is like everything together, right? Um, with how many, how much, and quantifiers. And then we have uh, the current conversation. It's pretty safe. In this case, uh, what is pretty? Como mucho. Very good. So Muy seguro. In that, in that case, it's not an adjective. It transforms mm -hmm. into an adverb, okay? Mm -hmm. okay? So this is very important. Then we have the 3.7. Uh, Omar, could you please Teacher. talk with me? Teacher, um, I have a question. Okay. And in que eh, momento vamos a identificar que pretty Es un adjetivo o un adverbio? Eh, cuando esté al lado o esté calificando a un verbo o a otro adjetivo. Eso es lo más común. Entonces, si solo dice pretty, entonces, y está a la par de un nombre, pretty eh, sería como un adjetivo porque los adjetivos califican al nombre. Lo escriben. O sea, si yo digo, por ejemplo, she is pretty, ahí el nombre es she, es el subject. Y lo está describiendo. Pero si yo digo, she is pretty fast. Ahí pretty ya no está describiendo a, a ella, sino que a la acción que es fast. Pretty fast. Entonces, en ese caso ya sería un adverbio. Ok, thanks. You're welcome. Omar, could you please help me reading this adjective? Ok. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give out answers. Very good. So this is about quantifiers that we're going to check, of course. And then we have the video, how much and how many. That are like the most uh, common, but of course that we have some other quantifiers. And then we have the knowledge check 3.9. Uh, where uh, it says on the spaces provided for each sentence, write the proper quantifier. Pay attention if it is a count noun or a noun count. And uh, well, this is there is, and we're going to complete with much or many. Uh, and then it's going to be kind of easy. Uh, do you have a question? Have you finished this one already? Yes. No questions. Everything's fine. No work, teacher. Okay. Then we have the uh, lesson objective number 310. Uh, Jonathan, could you please help me reading this one? And this session's participant will be have will have a chance to read an article from a magazine. Develop skills is in scanning and reading for details. This is very interesting. I mean, in this situation, um, well, it's very important that you understand reading, right? Sometimes, if you are in a test, sometimes you need to read fast and understand fast. And that is called scanning. When you just scan an article, you don't read every detail, but you just scan everything, and then you understand what is this about, so you can answer questions about that. So that is very important. Uh, and, uh, well, I have a question here. It says, uh, in the session participants will have a chance to read. Do you remember the pronunciation of reading past? Read. 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 That's the one. Very good. And, well, this is just like a reading, right? And then it says read the article, then check things you can find in a story okay and there are some situations here let me see if this works okay all right so what we're going to do right now is to read okay um do you see very well the screen
Un poquito okay. más, teacher. Uh, let me see if I can. No, I am not able since this is a picture. Oh. Okay. Oh, no, se hace más pequeño. Se hace más pequeño. Yeah, and this is 200, supposedly. But the thing is that sí, it's, it's, an, it's an out of feet. So mm -hmm. it's, it's like that, but it's not. Yes. Yeah, it's quite strange. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that is the best that we can have. Oh, 100. Yeah, probably something like that. Let me see. Yes. Okay. So uh, we're going to repeat. Everybody, please repeat. Uh, remember the pronunciation is world with L. If you don't have the L there, you have another word. Okay. So, the world in one neighborhood. The world in the world one neighborhood. The, in one neighborhood. the side walls are crowded. The side, side walls, walls are, are crowded. crowded. With Indian women. With Indian, With Indian women. women. In colorful traditional dress. In, in colorful, colorful traditional, traditional dress. dress. A woman on the corner is selling Chinese cakes. A woman, a woman on the corner is selling Chinese cakes. Cake. A new song from a Romanian band. A new, a new song, song from a new Romanian, song from Romanian, Romanian, Romanian band. Is playing. is playing in a restaurant. Is playing, is playing in the restaurant. In the restaurant. Uh, is it India? Is, is, is it, it India? 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 Yeah. China? China. 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 Romania. 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 No, it's a story. No, no, no. It's, a story. it's a story. A story. A neighborhood in Queens. A neighborhood, a neighborhood in Queens. 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 New York City. New York, New York City. City. York City. Astoria was once a mostly Greek neighborhood. Astoria was once a mostly Greek neighborhood. Neighborhood. But the area is changing fast. But the area is changing, is changing fast. 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 New residents from India. New residents from resident in India. India. Pakistan. 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 Thailand. 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 China. 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 And all over the United States are moving in. And all, and all over all the United States are moving in. Moving in. Moving in. The new residents, the new the residents, residents, bring many traditions. Bring, bring, bring many, traditions. many traditions. Bring many traditions. These traditions, these traditions, blend together, blend together, together to make a story truly multicultural. To make a story truly multicultural. When people are surrounded. When people are surrounded by different cultures, by, by different, different cultures, 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 they adopt the things they adopt the things, things that they like. like that, that they, they like, like. Says one resident. Says one, one, one resident. resident. Here in Astoria, here in Astoria, here in Astoria, in Astoria yeah. it isn't surprising. It's that an Indian woman buys that an Indian, Indian woman buys, buys Mexican buys. tortillas Mexican, Mexican tortillas, tortillas from a Korean grocery store from a Korean yeah, grocery, grocery store. store. It's one of the things. It's, it's one, one of, of the things, things that makes the neighborhood special. That, that makes the, the neighborhood, neighborhood, special. neighborhood special. It isn't surprising. It, it is surprising, surprising that Astoria is becoming that that story story is story is becoming a very popular place to live. A very popular place to live. The rents are reasonable. The rents are reasonable. The neighborhood is safe. The neighborhood, the neighborhood is, is safe. safe. And it has a very good public transportation. And it has, and it has, has very, very good, good public transportation. transportation. 
There are inexpensive stores. There are inexpensive stores. Many nice restaurants. Many, Many nice, nice restaurants. restaurants. And good fresh fruit and vegetable markets. And good fresh fruit and vegetable markets. Market. And Astoria is a comfortable place. Um, and Astoria, Astoria is a comfortable, comfortable place to live. To live. To live. To live. Okay. To live. Apartments are usually big and roomy. Apartments, Apartments are, are usually big and roomy. 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 As one long time resident says. As one, As one, one long time, time resident says. Why live anywhere else? Why, Why live anywhere, anywhere else? else? Astoria has it all. Astoria, Astoria has, has it, all. it all. Very good. So now we're going to check some vocabulary words that we can find here. So, for example, sidewalks. Stay in class. What is sidewalk? Donde uh, caminamos. Uh, yeah, las aceras. Uh, acera. Oh. acera, acera. Nice, good. And what is uh, something that is crowded? Do you know? No. Okay, crowded is with a lot of people or thing. So in this case, the sidewalks are crowded, meaning that the sidewalks are full of people, lots of people. Okay, do you understand? No, si se entiende esa parte. Acera lleno. Lleno, si. También este se ocupa para, para cosas. Puede ser situaciones con crowded que sean de cosas. Okay, then it says colorful, traditional dress. The woman on the corner is selling. What is this? What is selling? Do you remember? Vendiendo. Very good. That is it. And uh, let's see. So, yeah, neighborhood queen. Mostly. What is mostly? Mostly great. No. Mayormente. Very good. That is it. And Greek? What is Greek? Grecia. Gre Griego. Gre that's good. Very good. Okay. And then it's changing fast. New residents. All over the... When you say all over, all over the United States, sometimes in movies or things that you will say, or you will see that it says, or people say, all over the place. What does that mean? Por todas partes. Very good. That is it. Let me check. What is to move in? Como moviéndose. Mudarse. That's the one. Very good. Okay. And bring. What is bring? Traer. Nice. Blend together. Así como mezclarnos juntos, algo así, ¿no? That is it. Blend together is to mix everybody there together. Okay. Truly, what is truly? De verdad. Verdaderamente. Verdaderamente. So that is a, a tip. So whenever you see a word that is L-Y at the end, or has L-Y, uh, you are going to see that is the ending mente in Spanish. Verdadera mente. Okay, what is surrounded? Do you know that? Surrounded. Okay, that is uh, rodeado. So in this case, when people are surrounded by different cultures. Different cultures. Yeah. Then we have, uh, let me see, other uh, word. Do you remember what is a grocery store? What is a grocery store? 
very good that is the one and let's see what else coming please to leave uh, reasonable that is like in spanish right and then let's see okay Crystal Marquez. Comfortable. What is comfortable? Comfortable. That is it. I remember the pronunciation is comfortable. And what is roomy? Compañero de cuarto. Compañero. No, it's not that one. What it says, what it says apartment are, apartments are usually big and roomy. Okay, sometimes you will hear also an expression that it says, there is room for one more. So that is very common in English. When you say there is room for one more, we're saying hay espacio, no cuarto. Espacio para alguien más. En este caso, room sería espacioso. Okay. Then we have, uh, as one long time, rest and search, we live. Anyway. Okay. I believe that is it. Do you have a question uh, into this one? No questions. Okay, let me just return to the other one. Let me just check. Okay, here we go. Okay, we will just finish at the part of the platform and then we're going to continue. So, in this one, according to the reading, you just need to go and uh, do the checking here. Uh, any question about this exercise? Answers, teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but if you finish, you don't need that. After this one. Uh, I have a question. Go ahead. But es sobre es que yo ya terminé todo lo que sale ahí y tengo el certificado pero me sale del 2019. Eh, pero es el de este curso. Sí, de ese curso. Okay. Me sale consultar. que lo hice supuestamente. Ah, okay. Sí. Vamos a consultar sí porque tendría que tener la fecha del 2021. Vamos uh -huh. a consultar y yo les hago saber. Okay, gracias. Okay, this is the midterm test. So this part is the listening. Uh, questions about this part in the midterm test? If we don't have questions, then the part B is completing the conversations. Well, also you need to complete. Remember that if you have a space or a period that it doesn't belong there, uh, it's going to mark you as wrong. So just be careful about that. Questions about the part B? Then we have the part C, choose the correct answer. In this part, we just need to check what will be the correct option according to the space. That will be it. Questions about this? Okay. Part D is rewrite the scramble sentence. So it's to put in order everything there. Uh, again, we need to be careful about spaces, periods, and uh, any other things here? Any questions about Part D? Mm -mm. Good. And then we have reading. Uh, that is, you need to read and then complete um, the exercise below, true or false. Questions about the reading? No. Okay. No. Then, let me just check. We have uh, part four that we are not going to check today, but we're going to continue with the class. Any question about uh, the midterm test and all the first sections? Okay, I hope everybody has finished that one already. And yesterday we were checking about prepositions of place. Do you remember? That we have above, below, on top, behind. We check also that it's not the same to say below than under or underneath. And it's not the same to say above than on or on top of. And also the difference between between 
and then among, okay? The other ones, I guess, they were very, very clear. Questions about this? So we can do a little practice. Very well. So we are going to practice with a little map that we have here. Okay, uh, can you see that? I guess it's good enough. So this is a little map with some places. What we're going to do is, I'm going to ask you where is a place, and you are going to use prepositions so you can tell me the answers, okay? Are you ready? Okay. Yes, I'm ready. Good, let's make it then. Jenny, could you please Hello. tell me where is the hospital? Well, can you please tell me where the hospital is? Uh, the hospital is um, between uh, cinema, between uh, the, cinema. Uh -huh. the cinema and the park. Very good. That is a way to tell us that. Esa es una manera de decirlo. The hospital is between the cinema and the park. Uh, let's see, Carlos, de una manera diferente. Where is the hospital? The hospital in front of Charm Theater Parking Law Court. Mm, okay, in this case, probably it's better to say the hospital is in front of the church. Only one place. Oh, okay. Or it's in front of the theater. Okay, okay. teacher. Good, perfect. Uh, let's see. Um, Marcela, could you please tell me where the zoo is? Zoo. Um, zoo is. Is. Ah, front of library? It's in front of the library. Very good. That is a good way to tell us that. Francisco, de una manera diferente. Where, uh, could you please tell me where the zoo is? Is next to the stadium. It's next to the stadium. Very good. So we can say that one. Yes, it's next to the stadium. Uh, Corey, de una manera diferente siempre. Could you please tell me where the zoo is? Zoo so is next to library or in front of library. Va, esa ya me la dijeron. Por eso tendría que ser diferente. Mm. No puede decir in front of the library ni next to the stadium. No, no me da la mente. <laughs> ¿Qué es eso que tiene arriba que dice Miss Miss Um? Uh, dice Miss um, Turn. Tum. Solo es como Turn. Ajá, es como un juego nada más, pero aquí no lo estamos haciendo de esa manera. Es un tablero de juego. Ah, y ahí okay. lo que dice es que perdió el turno, pero pues. In the corner, entonces, in the corner of the of the map, no. <laughs> Porque no encuentro otro lugar donde ubicarlo. Puede decir, por ejemplo, is opposite of the petrol station. Opposite. Yeah. Is opposite of the petrol mm. station. So that is... Es como la esquina opuesta. That is it, yeah. Ah, ok. Good, good. Ok. Perfect. Opposite. Petrol station es como una gasolinera. Yeah. You can say gas no. station or mm. pet petrol station, yeah. Oh, okay. Good, good. So let's see. Uh, Omar, could you please tell me where the museum is? Museum. Museum in the same block of library. Very good. That is a way that you can say that. I is in the same block, on the same block of the library. Good. Flor, could you please tell me where the museum is? The museum is next to the library. It's next to the library. Very good. Nice. Uh, Brenda Sandoval, could you please tell me where the school is? Uh, permit. Okay. No, I found it. Adelante. Sería next to the school next to a station. A train station. Train station. Very good. 
Yeah, the school is uh, next, we can say next to the train station. Ahora, imaginémonos una cosa, aquí se me ocurre algo. Eh, imaginémonos que la entrada de la escuela está enfrente de la post office. Entonces ahí posiblemente ya no sería next to the train station. ¿Qué sería ahí? ¿Alguien cualquiera? Entonces, back to behind. Behind, podría ser behind the train station. Imaginémonos que también la entrada está enfrente del museo de la train station, entonces sería behind. Is behind the uh, train station. Good, good. Gerardo, could you please tell me where the garage is? Across from the theater. Very good. It's across from the theater. That is another way that you can use. Nice. Um, Jenny, could you please tell me where the bar is? Uh, ¿Cuál me dijo, Tisha? The bar. The bar. Okay. Uh, the bar is in front of supermarket? It's in front of the supermarket. Sí, le pregunto porque mañana es viernes, ¿verdad? Y pues, <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank mm -hmm. you. So, let's see. It is. Could you please tell me where the disco club is? No logro visualizarlo. This. Ah, this club, ¿no? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Okay. Uh, it's next to the university. Okay. Yeah, it's on the same block, so we can say that it's next to the university. That is, that is good. Marcela, could you please tell me where the cinema is? Cinema. It's next to the bus. It's next to the oh. bus office. Good. The bus office. Yeah. Francisco, uh, could you please tell me where the swimming pool is? Swimming pool. Is between petrol station and the bar. Uh, let me check. The yeah, yeah, we can say that. Very good. Uh, Beatrice, could you please tell me where the charge is? Uh, yes, uh, that is the charge. Did you find the charge? Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah. So what is the charge? So charge. So it's the iglesia. Ah, uh, yeah. Ya la encontró en el mapa. No, sí. Okay. So where is the charge? I want to go to the charge. Please help me. Lo puede decir de muchas maneras, la que se le ocurra. A ver quién le quiere ayudar a Beatriz. Eh, 
is in the corner of the school and the hospital. Okay, yes, it's on the corner of the school and the hospital. You can say something like that. It's not exactly, but yeah, there are many ways that you can say uh, directions. It's next to the theater, okay. it's uh, behind the parking. That is it's the parking opposite line. the post. It's opposite the post office. Very good. So uh, that is the good thing about these, uh, this kind of situations that you, if you remember two or three words, you will be able to do it. Más adelante se pone divertido porque entonces vamos a hablar de, de dar direcciones. Es decir, yo le voy a decir, a ver, si estoy en la post office y quiero llegar al supermarket, ¿qué tengo que hacer? Ya ustedes ya me van a decir en el descamino, dos cuadras, cruce a la izquierda, y luego va a caminar dos cuadras más. Pero es eso es difícil, teacher. No, la verdad es que es fácil, fíjense. Solo, solo es de un, usar el vocabulario. No es Podemos probar bien. ahorita. Si quieren, probamos. That We can great. try. Yeah. Le voy a hacer el primero yo. The past. So, estoy enfrente de la escuela parado. So, I can say, okay, how do you get, and that is the question, how do you get to the supermarket? So, I can say, uh, turn right, walk two blocks, then turn left, and walk three blocks, or two blocks, and it's in the next corner. Así podría ser. O sea, si se ven el vocabulario, Uy, es, sí. el vocabulario, el vocabulario es, primero la pregunta, how do you get, o how como, do you get? how do I get, how do I get to, solo que en este caso, porque estamos viendo el mapa, me tiene que decir dónde está parado, ¿verdad? Porque si no, pues, desde aquí de Santa Ana va a estar bien difícil. Entonces, igual, uh, el siguiente vocabulario, vocabulario en este caso sería walk, walk two blocks, walk one block. Go to the corner, puede ser otra parte del vocabulario. Go to the corner. No es como walk up. Puede ser walk, walk up, up o walk down. Se puede de las dos maneras también. Eh, turn right, turn left, también es parte del vocabulario. De la vuelta a la derecha. Walk well, up, camino hacia arriba y walk down, camino hacia abajo. Yeah, you can say that as well. So this is it. It's not that difficult. Uh, okay. Maybe some other vocabulary, but that is the most common. Ahora, es difícil también si yo le digo, vea, yo estoy en Santa Ana y quiero llegar a Metro en San Salvador, ¿verdad? O sea, no es difícil, sino que se ocupa otro vocabulario. Como, por Entonces, ejemplo, eh, go to, uh, me tiene que preguntar dónde estoy en Santa Ana para decirme, take the bus. Bus 202. That is it. Ajá. Ahí ya va otro vocabulario. Take the bus 202. Take the 205. Ajá. Then get off. Puede ser vocabulario también de bus o de carro. Get off the bus. Uh, en la ceiba, por ejemplo. No. Bájate. Ajá. Okay. We can say they take... Apiate. <laughs> so we can say take other bus, that is, which bus can take me to, from la ceiba to metro centro? Which route? Do you know? Or take a taxi, you can say also. Take a taxi. Go. The micro, micro, what can you say? Microbus. Uh, microbus. Um, 44. The 44, okay. Yes. So there, you can take, me, take the 44, wait for five stops, bus stops, and then there you are going to be on the bus. So it's different depending on where you are. I mean, if I say I'm in El Salvador and I want to go to China, well, that involves planes, right? or uh, ships, ships I mean. Uh, so there are many ways depending on where you want to go and what you need to do. Pero el vocabulario no es muy complicado, it's very easy, okay? Eso es como un adelanto nada más. Okay, my friends, we are going to continue. And this is how much and how many. So that is something that we were checking there in the platform as you might remember. Okay, so. When we want to know the quantity or amount of something, we ask questions starting with how much or how many, okay? How much when you want to uh, know about uncountable nouns? Do you remember what is uncountable noun? Water. Water, very good. Sugar. Coffee. Sugar. Good. So there are words that you can't count, 
-huh. Eso no significa que no se pueda contar. Muchos me preguntan, ¿y el dinero? Pero el dinero lo puedo contar. La okay. palabra, right? The word money, a esa palabra yo no le puedo poner número. So it's going to be uh, a lot of money. But you can't say three money. It's not possible. So that's an uncountable now. And we have some examples there. How much sugar would you like? How much time do we have to finish? How much money did you spend? How much milk is in the fridge? Sometimes I guess that you have seen or listened to that people say times. Is that possible? Have you seen in movies that they say three times? Is That is possible, right? But when? When do we count time, the word time, and when you can't count the word time? Do you have an idea? Okay, I will explain. Lo vamos a explicar en español. Time, si hablamos de tiempo, no es contable. Como la es frente. como la vez de nada más, cuando decimos three times. That mm -hmm. is it. So no es que un say, tiempo, dos tiempos. Ah, ok. So, es lo mismo con casi todo el vocabulario y los usos de las palabras en inglés. Depende del contexto, de dónde uh -huh. o cómo se está utilizando. O sea, si yo le digo, how many times do you have coffee during the day? ¿Cuántas veces? So, you can say, ah, three times, two times, depends on many situations. Ok. Good. Then we have um, how much that is going to be for singular or plural. This is for pricing. How much is this dress? How much are these shoes? Can you see that how much in the in the second one is are? The verb is in plural. plural because shoes. we are talking about shoes. But the question is about money. How mm, much are. is money? That is the difference. So in the first ones, aquí en las primeras, how much sugar, we're talking about the sugar itself. But in the second ones, we're talking about the price, that is money. So we can say how much are these shoes, okay? The other one, it says how much did your jacket cost? How much will it cost me, okay? So this is about price. This is about money. Questions about this? No questions. Good. Then we have how many. Okay. That is uh, when you want to know about the quantity or amount of something. Remember that in how many you are going to use plurals. Because these are countable nouns. So, for example, how many days are there in January? Do you know? How many days are there in January? 31. 31 days. 31. Good. The other one says, how many students are in this room? Uh -huh. How many students 12. are in? 12. Very good. How many 14. 14. 14. Or 14. Oh, I haven't seen that. Okay. The other one says, how many books did you buy? You can answer with a number, right? Or you can say, no, I, I didn't buy any, any book. But the question is valid. How many cousins do you have? So, plural. A lot. <laughs> okay, that's good. You have a large family. And then we have... Uh, other piece of advertisements. It says, the noun is often omitted in the question when it is obvious that we're talking about. Okay? So, for example, it says, I would like to buy some cheese. And then the part B says, how much would you like? So, in that one, when you know what you're talking about, you don't have to say cheese again. You can say, how much would you like? The other one says, I need some coins. How many do you need? I need some sugar. How much do you need? 
So on the question, uh, and how much question in that part, we don't have to say the noun or what you are talking about because in the conversation, you know already that one. So you don't have to. Any questions about this? Okay. Very good. No questions. Then we have quantifiers. These are different quantifiers that we can use. So as you can see there, there, are, there is a quantifier, the meaning of the quantifier. And if you can use that with countable or uncountable nouns, okay? So the first one is a little. The meaning is small, a minor quantity. And this one is going to be used for uncountable noun. Okay, a little. Um, Omar, could you please tell me an example with a little? A little piece of cake. But piece no. of cake is. Ah, no, a little uh, of quantifier. Yeah, um, little. I don't know. Okay. You don't know. Okay, we can say, for example, I want a little water. You can say that. Okay, a little. Questions about that? Sería como más que todo en respuesta, ¿verdad, teacher? Um, no, not necessarily. Siento que pega más a little bit. Uh, yeah, you can use that almost always just like that because you are answering, uh, but you can use that in many ways. Just remember that it's for non-countable. That is important. You can say negative, you can say affirmative, whatever you want, but non-countable. That is important. The other one is like the opposite. It's a few. This is also small, minor, slight amount, but this is for countable nouns. Okay? So a little in a few or just few is similar, but a little is for uncountable and few is for countable nouns. Is that clear? Do you have questions about few? Yeah. Okay. Carlos, could you please tell me an example? Yeah. With yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, go ahead, please. Sería como decir poco, ¿verdad? Exacto. O sea, a little es como poco. A few es como pocos. Poco y es porque se está contando. That is it. That is the only difference, okay? Como si digo, I made a, a few cupcakes yesterday. Es that poco. is correct. That is it. So you can say, I made a few cupcakes with a little sugar. So you can use both in the same sentence. Right. A few days. Um, I'm sorry? A few days? Yeah, a few days. Anything that you can count, you can use a few. The other one, a lot of. That is uh, the opposite in quantity. It's a large number or amount. Do you know what is amount? No. Cuenta. No, that is a count. Amount is cantidad. So in this case, it's a large number or amount of something. And a lot of, you can use that for with a countable and uncountable. With both. Es un montón, pues. Some like that, <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, Carlos, now you can help me with that one, please. Uh, with a lot of. A lot of, a lot of. Um, I don't know, understand, teacher. I don't know, understand. A lot of, muchos, that is it. Mucho, a mucho. A lot of, a lot of, um, beer. Good, I like that one. We want a lot of beer. Se le nota el deseo ya. But it's tomorrow. No, beers, beer, no, beer. Tomorrow. 
Ah, no pájaros. Beers. Eh, beers. Pájaros, quise decir ah, pájaros. Ah, beers. Ok, beers. Ah, beers. Ah, ok. Ah, sí. pues yo y la bola. <risa> All right. Good. Beer, teacher. Birds. I love beer. A lot of birds. No beers, but birds. Ok. Uh, yeah, you can say that. I mean, you can use that with countable and accountable. In that case, for example, he says a lot of birds. But you can say a lot of water. It's fine. You can use for countable and non-countable. Okay? Teacher, a lot, a, a lot of water. Um, uh, water no, uh, no countable. Sí, pero si se da cuenta ahí están los chequecitos en las dos. Se puede usar para oh, dos. Okay. Countable and uncountable. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, let's go to the next. Many is like very or numerous, but that is for countable only. Right? So, let's see. Um, Brenda Cruz, could you please tell me an example with many? I want uh, many bananas. Okay, very good. That is countable, perfect. And then we have the opposite, oh, the other one, not the opposite, but the other one that is much. That is for non-countable. Flor, could you please tell me an example with much? I want uh, much milk. Okay, I want much milk. That is a lot, nice. Any? is when we have a never or at all, nothing at all, okay? So we use almost always that with negative or in questions. Questions with any? Uh, do you drink any coffee for breakfast? No, oh uh, yeah, yeah, it's possible, yes, it's possible. Do you no. drink any coffee, yeah? That Do you drink any coffee? Because in the questions, oh. it's possible to that. Do that, yeah. And as you can see there, it's for countable and non-countable. So you can do whatever you want. Okay. Thank you. The next one is a lot of. Mm -hmm. Lots of is a lot of. It's the same. It's, a, it's igual to a lot of. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's the same. It's the same. The only difference is that you can say a lot of or you can say lots of. So you can say lots of students or you can say lots of milk for everybody. Okay. And the other one is some. Uh, we have an unspecified amount of number. And some is not many and not a few. Okay. So it's like more or less in between and uh, this is possible to use it also for uh, countable and non-countable just remember that if you are going to use these words for countable uh, the noun will be in plural that is very very important so Gerardo could you please tell me an example with some I have some cats. Very good. Cats are amazing. I really like cats. So, yes, I have some cats. I want some milk. Um, there are some people. There are some people. Very good. Nice. So, this is like other quantifiers. There are many quantifiers, but later on, we're going to continue checking some other ones that we might uh, get to use. Okay, my friends, do you have any questions about the class of today, the platform? If you haven't finished the midterm test, today is the day, please try to do it. Um, questions? Sure. Yes. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know if I have finished the midterm test, but hasta ahora o o I have hasta mañana? Lo puede hacer mañana, no se cierra la plataforma, sin embargo, pues. Hay que ir casi a la par, ¿verdad? Recordemos que más que todo cuando es el final, que va a ser dentro de dos semanas exactamente, ese día sí se cierra en la medianoche y ya no se puede hacer nada. Entonces, okay. vamos avanzando poco a poco. Yo sé que pues el trabajo, ¿verdad? Y sí, que ahora por el trabajo no tuve tiempo de, de trabajar en la plataforma ni nada. 
Sí, yo entiendo, no hay problema. Eh, solo trate de hacerlo, digamos, antes del fin de semana, si puede avanzar un poquito más de, de, lo de, de los otros, de la sección 4, pues también okay. sería bueno. Igual ah, si bueno. tiene preguntas o dudas, ahí estamos. Okay, Teacher, mucho. ¿hasta qué unidad hay que llegar para el sábado? Para, digamos, para ahora o el sábado tendría que ser hasta el midterm test. Ahora hay muchos, mm, yeah. hay muchos que hasta ya terminaron, ¿verdad? Y no es malo, pueden terminar todas las plataformas si ustedes quieren, pueden avanzar eh, o al menos ir a la par, ¿verdad? Yo por eso casi siempre vamos viendo los ejercicios de la plataforma juntos para que vean más o menos por dónde vamos, dónde tendríamos que ir. Eh, y sí, pues yo les recomendaría que dentro de dos semanas, ya por el siguiente miércoles, por el 17 creo que es, de febrero, por ahí ya tendríamos que estar, tener hecho el final test. In case eh, tengamos alguna pregunta, duda, alguna situación. Bueno, martes, miércoles de la última semana, hay que ir terminando eso. Ok, okay my friends. Okay, It was a pleasure to be with you uh, in this class. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and see you next Monday. Okay, teacher. Good night. Okay, teacher. Okay, Thank teacher. you. Good, Good night. night. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.